let's see, it's horizontal for uh, YouTube and it's uh, vertical for Facebook. But horizontal for YouTube and vertical for Facebook. You got to learn all these things when you're doing the show from your home and you're not working in a professional setting. Of course, those who are in professional settings are usually network type people. Hey, I gotta, I gotta tell you about something. You know, I'm watching this GameStop. I, I commented on it the other day. If you watched my uh, YouTube and my Facebook horizontal and vertical, uh, what happened is that the GameStop was an investment that the Security Exchange Commission allowed to happen, and now they're in trouble because they are the government arm that's supposed to protect everybody. Isn't that the FCC? I said a long time ago, you know, I said, the, if it ends, if it begins with an F, <laughs> like the FDA, the FCC, uh, it usually ends with a K. <laughs> but the SEC, now we're into a new category of initial dropping, the Security Exchange Commission. You know, does anybody understand what all these things are? You know, when you're a child and, and people say, uh, what, what, you know, what does this stand for? I remember when I, I lived uh, during the hurricane here in, in Florida years ago, I was the only station on the air, WQAM, because we were the only ones who had a generator. And they didn't expect the hurricane, Caroline, to come up to our neighborhood. They expected it to go somewhere else, but it did. And and we were caught with our pants down, so to speak. Well, a lot of people in broadcast have been caught with their pants down. <laughs> but you know, we we were doing the show every every day, and so what we did was broadcasting from the uh, uh, radio station. And at 10 a.m. after I was on the air until 10 a.m. in the morning show, uh, we would give the sound over to Channel 10 because they had no transmitter uh, power. They had to use our generator to, uh, you know, they had to use our power to, to put things on the air. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but anyway, the, we, we rented them our our sound <laughs> system. And uh, and we were on the air with, uh, I was there three days, I was locked up. The only thing that worked in the building was the, uh, uh, I think it was, it didn't even work. We had water not coming out of the faucet. We had water bottles for making coffee. And also, uh, I used that machine, you know, that had all of the chips in it. I had to th throw something through it to break the glass because I was out of quarters, you know. <laughs> I didn't have any more money. I broke that damn thing and took, <laughs> I robbed our machine. <laughs> uh, the commissary, the, uh, the great way of the radio station being so generous, charging uh, employees for money. Uh, of money to get uh, refreshments. Anyway, uh, this is such a strange world, you know, you, don't, you just don't know. People try to make money at the wrong time sometimes. And they try to make money off of things that are are dreadful. You know, you have a, you have a bad time and people think, well, now I, now I know I'm gonna make a couple bucks on this one. Like how many people are making masks right now? How many of these masks are we gonna have? We got more masks here than the Phantom of the Opera. And the other thing that we're doing with our lives right now is we're trying to find ways to be clean and we have all of these products. I've noticed that the Tide product that goes on fabrics is a bacteria product, not a virus product. I didn't know that. I'm not, I'm looking at it, it says 99%, but it's in the little words it says bacteria, but not, not 99% uh, for what we really need to fight, which is the virus. And Clorox, you know, if you, if you don't mind uh, ruining your clothes with bleach, uh, it's good. But, you know, Clorox, who wants to bleach everything? You know, I mean, I don't want, it smells like a, a hospital run by the nuns or our schoolroom. Uh, it always had that smell. You know, not everybody uses that awful stuff, that fabuloso, which is not so, it's unfabuloso to me. God, is that dreadful. Uh, that one smell that you, that you have. And everybody uses and they it's cheap that's why it used to be pine salt which was even worse but there's products on the market now that don't have a smell but you don't i don't know if they do anything they take care of bacteria I'm not, i don't have a bacteria problem there's no vaccination for bac bacteria there's a vaccination for a virus and now i'm glad that johnson and johnson are are talking to each other that's a family business you know and they have come up with this thing they just got sued for uh, years of uh, a baby powder and now they're back on the market giving us something. I hope this injection is uh, is going to work. It's a one shot injection, as you know, and it can it can work at regular refrigerated temperature. It doesn't have to be frozen. I love those guys who were on the road. They got caught in the snowstorm, and so they had a, a supply of the vaccine, and it's frozen. Has to stay cold. 
So they were going to use it up before it was spoiled and they gave everybody on the road a shot, you know. Of course, in Florida, if we did that, we'd be going to jail for drugs, you know. I mean, this is a, this is a drug center. Did you know that? I guess you know that we import here. We don't export. We don't send drugs out here. We, we bring them in. Uh, there's always a bust for something. You know, the French Connection was about bringing things into Florida. Florida is, uh, because we're so close to Cuba and South America, and, and we, we have uh, uh, so many people who make money in, in those countries that are starving for things that we really would pay premium for, you know, like cocaine, which was a dental thing. You know, I mean, Coca-Cola uh, was based on cocaine. You know that. Dr. Pepper is based on caffeine. There's more caffeine in Dr. Pepper than there is in your coffee. You know, Dunkin' Pepper and, uh, and, 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 and Coca, what is it? They're not calling it that. I did this yesterday, but it was <laughs> Coca Buzz. You know, <laughs> you buzz yourself with Coke, with coffee. Uh, it's all, everybody's, we're, we're studying from, we're studying fusion. I call it confusion. We are, we are putting things together that didn't used to go together and they, and they go together very well, you know, including uh, mixed marriages. Now we have that, that's a confusion. Yeah, well, you know, because people are, are very sensitive about uh, mixing things and now we're, we're putting anything together that goes in without ruining it. And I don't know how to say that except that uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff that doesn't taste as good as it used to taste. Uh, my mother's cooking is way, that's way long. My mother used, they used to, pygmies used to come over here and, and, and dart her food. Uh, they, they would fill their darts with her food and kill each other. Uh, you know, I mean, my mother's cooking was the worst. I couldn't wait until we were invited out for dinner. But I would grow up in a poor neighborhood, you know, never mind Cicely Tyson. I mean, talk, tell me about her. She became a big movie star and very rich. Get out of here. I don't want to hear any bitching. 96 years old and you became famous and rich like that. And you had all you wanted in life. And I've been to that at the church and I lived in Harlem. I grew up in, we had a $16 a month rental when we were kids. You know, our, our what was it? $30 a month for the, for the house we lived in. And it was what they call a cold water flat. And it was the last uh, white family in a black neighborhood. I know what it's like to be poor. And uh, I don't, I don't advise that people uh, uh, stay in poverty, obviously. And I, I did everything I could to get away from it. And so does Cecily Tyson. I mean, God bless her being uh, successful through her church. And I went to that church for uh, Benny King's funeral, I think I was. And I was there for, uh, I met with that pastor, what's his name, Abernathy or something. It's pretty close to another hard name to remember. But that church was uh, famous for opera and gospel singers and entertainers, and it's a Baptist church in Harlem. Uh, people, tourists come, buses come. They bring busloads of people, and that as you're leaving the church, there's someone at the door with a bucket to put money in. So they make sure that they, uh, if they're a tourist trap, they make sure they have that. So that's the true story, you know. Churches that charge you to get out of there. <laughs> if you're Jewish, you got to pay to get in. <laughs> That's when you got to pay to get out. <laughs> it's all in the mix of life. People find out ways to make a couple bucks, and and there are other people who are just uh, not genuine but scummy. There are those; those are the ones. And I don't think everybody in prison is a criminal. I think I don't think everybody in government is honest, and I don't think everybody that's white is a hater. And I don't think everybody who's black deserves a shot. I, I really don't. I think we're all just God's children. Got to just behave ourselves. And uh, I make a lot of mistakes. I make them every day. You know, I'm proud of making one and talking this way now. This is the way you're not supposed to talk. This scares the broadcasters because they think if you talk this way on the air, you're going to piss someone off. And I, yeah, of course you are because not everybody agrees on anything. How could we? We were 350 million people that that agree on the one thing. Why well, we would have a golden calf somewhere in Washington D.C. and honor it. We don't. We don't agree on things. We're not supposed to. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes comedy too. You know, it's not agreeing on everything. If you agree on everything, then then you don't have any issues. Don't have any issues. You have no uh, no drama, no comedy. We wouldn't be entertained. I'm entertained by people's mistakes. I'm I'm not so entertained by my own mistakes. <laughs> But if I could make money with my mistakes, that's another story, you know. <laughs> uh, this is a different kind of a world that we're living in right now. So you better have some fun because uh, this ain't going to get a lot better without you laughing. 
uh, you know, if you if you want to be sad, boy, you can be a Mr. Sad Puss. You're gonna be you're gonna be left behind because the rest of us want to have some fun now. We want to we want to enjoy our lives, and we are waiting for that stimulus check. I like that stimulus check because it's like the government paying me. <laughs> I love that. I I love being a government employee. Give me more. Give me a standing ovation for stimulus. <laughs> And I love these people in, in government arguing. Don't you love them arguing? It's fun. Anyway, it's a uh, it's a Reynolds wrap. 